Nigeria Army will be moving in new ammunition and explosives into the 34 Artillery Brigade in Obinzi, near Oweri in Imo State, in an apparent show of force to dislodge the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network operatives. Sahara reporters learned from reliable military sources that the army planned to blow off some of its expired military hardware, including explosives to create panic for the IPOP and ESN militants and with them off security stations. The 34 Brigade confirmed this on Friday, saying the blowing of explosives would last from May 14th to 24th. The Acting Assistant Director of Army Public Relations, Lieutenant Babatunde Zuberu, in a statement, however, called the call it the demolition of unserviceable ammunition and explosives. Zubaru said the 82 base ammunition depots would conduct the exercise Enugu from May 14th to May 21st, adding that the exercise would take place between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. daily throughout the period. The people of Obinze and surrounding communities are advised to keep away from the range area during the period of the exercise. This is not a cause for alarm as the Nigeria Army remains committed to the safety of Nigerians, Zuberu had said. The message is clear. It is to warn the ESN and IPOP guys that the military is in town and there should be no nonsense. The army is also expecting to bring in a new keg of ammunition and other confidential artillery, is source added. Sahara reporters reported that the Nigerian military had drafted reinforcement troops from some of its formations fighting insurgency in Borno State to join the troops in the southeast region over the military's clash with IPOB and ESN operatives. Military sources had confirmed to Sahara reporters that the reinforcements were drawn from some battalions, including the 231 tank battalion in Bill, Borno State, under the 3 ammo division, just play two state. Yes, some troops are moving from the northeast to the southeast as reinforcement. They started moving from Wednesday. Among them are those from the 231 tank battalion. They are believed to be more trained in quelling uprisings. The top source had confirmed. President Mohamed Bouhari had on Tuesday held a meeting with the service chiefs and the inspector general of police at the presidential villa Abuja, telling them to adopt specific security measures in the southeast and the south-south geopolitical zones of the country. The police and military have been recording casualties in the southeast during raids and gun battles with the criminals disturbing the region. Therefore, the focus would shift more to a power in the coming weeks. Combat helicopters and other aircraft would be deployed to conduct massive raids on the hideouts from the air. It does not matter whether the hideouts are for the indigenous people of Biafra or its armed outfits. What the military is looking for is criminals, his source had revealed. Honestly, at this junction, I think the Nigerian army should be ashamed of themselves. The, the president himself should be ashamed of, of himself. What are we talking about? Some people you continue to be politically correct. So it is uh, because of ESN and IPO that these guys are preparing like this for. You will see Boko Haram in the north, you will run. You know, it's like, just like everybody still saying the same thing. But it, Nigerians have been crying all over the country. Let's even forget uh, what is happening in the north because they are used to that. Because they are the same people who are leaving the north to come to the south. And that is why you could see that the reason why the 17 governors from, uh, uh, from the southern part of the country, they agreed together, they don't want open grazing because it has caused a lot of problems. Yet, Buhari did not see anything wrong in that. The reason why they are going after these people is because they themselves, the ESN, are going after the Fulani Esme. They have never given attention to Fulani Esme who have been causing havoc all over the country. And you are preparing like this for what? You are preparing like this. Not even single, a single policeman has even arrested a single S man. None. None that people can really see. Even with the way people are crying. 
even a whole governor of a state is saying the same thing governor autumn yes Buhari, they, they don't see anything but you could give a uh, a uh, uh, different uh, directives on uh, you know to security agencies to go and to go to south east to go and do what so because of ESN, that's why you guys are preparing like this and the people have come out to tell you that they have no hands in it and you are arresting innocent people here and there you will tell us that you have arrested some 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 Boko Haram, you have arrested a, a some a bandits but you will never show their face you will never you will never and you think uh, of course they just know that the only the only the only group that is holding them genuinely genuinely and the only group the only uh, uh, tribe that they can they are afraid of they are just the Igbos. and that is why they want to they want to get them by all means they want to get them by all means i think uh, by now the the so called leaders in southeast maybe their high will be clear now because of yes and you are not preparing like this before ESN came on board uh, in, in, in November last year, the people in that area have been crying left, right and center concerning S-men. The governor of Imo State has come out to tell us that say, hey, the people doing committing atrocities in the in the zone, especially in Imo State, they are not ESN, they are not IPOP members. No, you don't want to take that. You are not bringing people all the way from Bonifor to what's now. The same thing we we learn the same thing that when the the so-called monarchs the monarchs in Ogun state they came out and they said soldiers were going from places from from one palace to the other with a uh, s men giving them money to allow s men to to graze on people's land and we saw a lot hold on the presidency did not even issue a, a, a word the nigeria army did not issue a word not even when the the monarchs wrote to the nigeria army to confirm those who were coming to their palace with Fulani uh, uh, No, he didn't make headline. No, or Loretta Onuchi did not see that. Gabashi, of course, he won't say that. Femi Adichie, no, no, he didn't see that. And you think, uh, you think, uh, 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 you are flexing muscle. You think you are, you are, you know, show of force. It's unfortunate <laughs> that uh, these are the people that you are, you are flexing your muscles on. Show of force. God will help you, all of you. Any Christian that is standing for one Nigeria will not miss hell. This genocide by Nigeria army must stop. God will disappoint Nigeria army and police with their government because Biafra must come in our time. Please God protect ESN and give them more strength to defeat the enemies of Biafra. May the spirits of her people they have killed from Biafra war till now and all the forces in our land wake up and destroy our enemies. Self-determination isn't a crime, both domestically and internationally. No, it is not. Hmm. The name, the same way terrorists and their shelter are falling in Gaza, the same way terrorists and their shelter and sponsors will soon fall, including Asurok, CBN, and so in the damnable Zoological Republic. Do you show or force? Do you show or force? now until your reckoning day do it now so guys let's hear your opinion and let's have your take on, on this